Hello everybody, this is Chaos with Chaos Esports Productions and No Dice Gaming bringing you tonight's No Dice Gaming show match. We have Akari going up against Kellerman and this is going to be game number three. So, let's go ahead and introduce our players spawning in the upper right hand corner here on Frost Ladder Edition. It is going to be No Dice Gaming's Kellerman. And spawning in the lower right hand corner with a very very decisive first two games. It is going to be No Dice Gaming's Akari. So, we've got a ZVP here on Frost Ladder Edition. Uh, Akari been doing pretty good. Uh, he's got some pretty decent builds going on. Last game was very, very passive. Very, um... I'm gonna drone up to 80 drones, and then I'm going to your. I'm gonna let you get your three bases up, and then it's just gonna be kind of back and forth, back and forth. Uh, but we did have some really, really good run buys. Uh, a lot of damage got done with those, and I think that's that's what ultimately won uh, Akari that last game. So we'll have to see whether or not he can continue on pulling it off. Now, uh, we are going to be seeing probably a little bit more of a macro game in this game as well, uh, as it is Frost Ladder Edition, which is a four-player spawning map. Um, unfortunately for Akari, he is not going to be able to scout his opponent until, you know, his overlord gets over there. But he is going to happily go for that hatchery first, just because, hey, why not? Four-player map, you know, you got about a 50-50 shot of your opponent scout, or, uh, eh, more like a 75% shot of your opponent scouting it. And actually, we already have a pylon being planted down. So it does look like we are going to be seeing uh, a cannon rush of some sort. Or maybe just trying to cause Akari to go ahead and pull a handful of drones. Uh, as we do have the Nexus first going down. Uh, so just kind of a little fake out to uh, minimize a little bit of uh, drone, drone mineral harvesting. So, anyways, we do have Kellerman going for that Nexus first, which is probably a little bit more favored on this map as well. But he's going to be following up with the Forge to get his cannons down. And, ooh, very, very nice play coming out of Akari. He's going to go actually go ahead and plant down his third base very, very quickly. Uh, and is basically going to... I th I'm pretty sure that third base was actually before the pool. So, definitely going to be going super macro mode here very shortly. Um, as once that pull gets done, he's going to get out three queens and just start injecting like a madman. So, it'll be interesting to see whether or not Kellerman actually scouts this and what, whether or not he chooses to punish it at all. Because um, I think, in his mind, his opponent's probably going for that relative... Ooh, uh, okay, so he's actually going to scout it. Um, so yeah, so we'll have to see whether or not he chooses to be uh, aggressive against it or if he's just going to kind of play out normally. So, a lot of times when I see a third base, the biggest thing that I do is I immediately start getting my plus one attack. It's like ASAP. Like, you get your gases down, you get your plus one attack, and then you go straight into your warp gate and just go for kind of a uh, four gate uh, plus one timing. It, it generally works out fairly well, uh, but we'll have to see whether or not we're going to see something similar to that here coming out of Kellerman as, uh, I believe... Where did his probe go? Did he lose his probe? No. No, he didn't lose his probe. So, probe apparently just decided it wanted to go home, be with all of his buddies. So. So, yeah. So, Kellerman definitely looking not to be too terribly aggressive, I'd say. He is getting his plus one, as I mentioned before. So, we'll have to see whether or not he actually Chrono boosts out um, his warp gate research. Because that'll, be that'll be the real telltale. Um, now, we do have an Overlord in preparation, so we'll have to see if that is going to come in and actually get a decent enough scout off. Now, the cannon will be a little bit uh, in the way, but we do have another Overlord getting into position to kind of check on that uh, Cybernetic Core, just to check to see if it is going to get uh, Corona boosted. So, I uh, really haven't seen any more... T Ooh, just there we go. Got some tech going on here. Where's, where's Mr. Robo? Where is he? I am blind. Oh, it's actually just chilling out here on the high ground. So, um, anyways, we, you know, like I said, Akari definitely just uh, happily droning, just now putting down, getting his guys into his first two gas. Uh, probably going to see something very similar out of him uh, that we saw last game. Uh, went for pretty, 
pretty heavy Ling Roach uh, to begin with, and then kind of transitioned into that uh, Swarm Host play, which was... D Whoa! 17 drones! He's just, like, droning like a madman over here. You know, it's like 7.30, and, yep, all he's got is a single... Single Ling out, 60 drones, and uh, lots of queens. Definitely, definitely being a very, very greedy over here. But Granite, uh, you know, he doesn't really have any pressure coming his way. So I think, you know, I think he's okay to go ahead and drone up that hard. I mean, he's definitely been doing a really good job keeping his injects up. And we do have our Roach Warren going down as well as our two guys in the... Uh, main as well as at the third base so probably going to see a lot of gas starting to be mined here very shortly so now with warp gate starting to finish out i think yeah man kellerman's like you know what i don't even care if you see it i'm just gonna plant down all these gateways and you know you can do whatever the heck you want to do about it so we are going to see an immortal type push uh, I'm really surprised we haven't seen, like, a plus one armor come out of him. Uh, you know, the plus one was finished really early, and it kind of took him a long time to get uh, that plus one armor going. So definitely needs to get that going to uh, make him just a little bit more beefier against this uh, Roach Ling composition that he's probably going to be up against as uh, Link Speed is going to be finishing up. Ooh, actually... I take that back. We do have a Hydrogen already down, so he is probably going to be looking to go for a uh, Roach Hydra composition, which is actually going to be very, very strong against this, because uh, with no Colossus out on the field, and probably none for at least a little while, you know, we got 65 seconds for that, and I believe it's like another 60 seconds for a... Um, or no, it's actually even longer than that. It's probably like 75 seconds for the first Colossus to come out. So Ling's going to come in here, try and get a little bit of damage done, or at least some scouting gonna see that there is no third base and he is basically just going to build units at this point you know no more droning we're just gonna get ourselves enough units to deal with this attack and actually it looks like he's gonna leave uh, maybe not leave these Looks like he was gonna set them set up a flank trying to get into a decent enough position to actually uh take out a sentry or two maybe but single link did get into position to take out the probe and actually a uh, nice little harass there Granted, the third base is going to get planted down, and I think overall, um, Kellerman's trying to put himself into a position to uh, really get into the macro portion of the game. Ooh. So Spire is already on the way. So, you know, Ak Akari pretty much knows everything. I mean, he saw that. He saw the robotics facility, or the uh, robotics bait go down. He knows Colossus are on the way, and he's like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and throw that Spire because I know I'm going to need it. Um, probably going to see a handful of Corruptors come out for him. Maybe like three or four would be a, a good number just to kind of have the Corruptors to deal with the Colossus up front. So, Akari definitely got some nice Ling position. Uh, definitely going to be able to get some type of a counter or a flank if need be. Uh, doing a little bit of uh, exercises with his Ling, sending them back and forth. So, Kellerman, wow, that was a lot of force fields for kind of no good reason. That's that's very strange. Anyways, um, wow, that was that was a lot of force fields for just a handful of lings. I'm I'm not gonna lie. So Akari is definitely looking to push into this, uh, <laughs> push into the natural pretty hard. Um, he is. He doesn't ha quite have the unit composition that he wants. Still could use a, a handful of corruptors to help deal with this. Uh, a couple more f force fields being baited out. Um, whoa, 11 corruptors on the way. So things are definitely looking pretty good for this. Uh, you know, Akari is almost maxed out. He's going to be able to more or less walk in here and get a significant amount of damage done. Um, you know, with about handful of those getting picked off needs to be needs to be a little bit careful not to not to get his army sliced in half by those force fields and at this point i think he's just better off tr take trying to take the engagement at the third uh the third is pretty unexposed and if he leaves a handful of units and forces kellerman to actually uh get into a decent enough engagement corruptors going in getting a lot of damage done both of the colossus will fall down very very shortly and now I think at this point, Akari really needs to back this army out. He's getting a lot of damage done, 
with this army up at the third. Going to be able to snipe that third, actually. Uh, but he just needs to make sure he doesn't lose too many units. Now, he's pretty much going to forfeit, forfeit these roaches, but I would say... Okay, so he's not going to be focusing down uh, the expansion, which is kind of odd. I really would have thought that he would have been best off going ahead and focusing down the expansion, just because the expansion is really what sets the pace of whether or not the Protoss can build up his army very, very quickly or not. So we do have Infestation Pit now going down, so he is looking to go ahead probably and do that tech switch over to Swarm Host that we've seen in the last two games. Very interesting style. Um, haven't seen a lot of uh, this type of variation. You know, he's you know this composition is a pretty devastating composition. But once you add in the uh, Swarm Hosts and even the Brood Lords, uh, as we'll probably see him go for a little bit later, uh, I think he's going to be in a really really good position to uh, just siege his opponent. So. Uh, gonna lose a handful of units here. Got to be very, very careful about uh, the losses here. Uh, some of the, looks like the conductor's trying to get him into a decent enough position. Uh, Kellerman is maxed at this point with a whole bunch of hydras just now popping. Um, really needs to focus on killing the Colossus as quickly as possible so we can get him here. So Force Shield's going down, but it does look like this engagement will take place. Corruptor's coming in, trying to get the damage done. The Colossus will fall very, very rapidly. And is there enough? The Hydra's reinforcements are coming in, and it does look like Akari is going to be able to push through this and take game number three. Very, very nice game from him. And this means we could have our last match upon us.